the first touch with the electronic music was like the parties where people kept me and said like you have to go there like, like crazy raves and they party a lot and that's different to the parties you guys are doing with with the hip-hop it's like more emotional and everything so and I went to those parties and yeah it was always amazing to see what's happening there how long the party is goes and And then I met him, like, like uh, he was the guy who, uh, who was already in this producing scene. So and I was interested into that too, but I, I wasn't really producing, you know, like, and then I, uh, we just start for, for fun together, like working on something like that. And we formed the project called Two Manix after two years. And we run this to, around 2012 it still exists but it's not like that we already that we don't producing anymore and that stuff that much so the Tumanix thing is clearly more hip-hop focused yeah project we started in like around end of 2011 it was just really funny because it was just for fun you know we didn't really expect to do something serious with that so and after that uh, we came to the contact with off recordings we, we uh, worked with them like two years you know like it was our home base and then we changed it so yeah came with from the that that we have like this background like soul funk and hip-hop and but for me mostly house music that's house music is like always inspired about everything is inspired about like R&B soul funk you know like there is like a it's it's going together you know uh, that's also a good thing about yeah. both hip-hop and house music that it's made of a lot of different genres and musical styles you know yeah Every day, baby. I think like, but Berlin is everything. Yeah, you, you, you can, can really. The most, the most people say like Berlin is techno city and like Hamburg is a house city. That's what people say. For me, like, I, I would say like Berlin, they, they have like everything. You can find everything in kind of music. Uh, you can find electronic music everywhere. But I think like the the craziest base is like Berlin so because you like the people party there 24 hours seven days so it's so this it's a good place to to, to network to connect with other musicians yeah. from all over the world that come there for me it's always the same example with hip-hop music you know I, I was growing up with hip-hop music and hip-hop music is always like you can say that, that kind of music is underground and then you see like people, producers like Pharrell, they doing like really good stuff too. But some people would say is it, it isn't underground, for, but for me it's like tough underground music. And it's combining with some stuff what you can play in the radio, you know. It's always a, a thing between that, you know, you it's can a balance. You yeah, know? It's, it's a balance, you know. Like it's a balance of credibility. Yeah. There are so so many songs that were actual w worldwide hits, but they are like super credible because they just have the right elements. Yeah. Like the recipe of the song itself is made of well-respected ingredients, so to say. It's hard to define, right? When you go to the party, you know, you see the crowd and then you just playing music what you feel you know that that's really important you, you play what you feel and, and you you bring the vibe from you and with the people you bring it together you know and that's really important so and that's that's the point yeah for try. sure it's 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 it's, 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 it's important to have the connection to the people when you are not having a connection and staying there and look down being with the crowd I don't think it's the right way because you always 
try to do the party with the people together, you know? This is Matt Joe. I'm Matt. I'm Joe. <laughs> 